Hi, good evening. Uh, uh, it has been really two days for us. Some of you probably were following the news that we announced our deal with the genders yesterday, and so I happened to be in Mumbai, and so we were doing a lot of closing yesterday and today. Uh, uh, and this was one of the topics again in the, in the discussions yesterday in the press. Uh, so here, uh, we were lucky that we had to start from zero. It's a very clean slate. So when we started in Newport Radio operations a few years back, um, so we had to start with a certain goal, and we set a target of 30% uh, gender diversity. We had huge diversity goal in general that we wanted to have people from non-auto industry uh, also, and within auto industry, uh, I was in General Motors earlier across the globe. So I said, we shouldn't have more people from General Motors also. Then we said, okay, how many from Toyota, Maruti, Honda? Then we said, non-auto, two wheeler, four wheeler. And that's how we started. And we said, then gender diversity 30%. Why 30%? Some target it had to be, and thanks to, uh, thanks to my global experience, and I was blessed to be traveling to a lot of countries outside, and I was raised outside. We realized one thing that no country can grow if the females are not part of a formally conflict country. So that was very clear. And then when I came back, probably I thought this was my last assignment as CEO, and the chair is powerful, so I said, let's start with that. Uh, also, you know, I've seen uh, my mother working. Uh, my wife, I always say, she's smarter than me, and my daughter is the smartest. So I've seen them multitasking uh, much better than us male in general. And uh, they're hardworking and sincere in general. And the countries that I've been to, uh, I saw them working all over. And thanks to my GM, I was surrounded by female employees, my bosses were females, so I was used to that. So with that, we started. And obviously, all kinds of mindsets, if you may mindset, but the Goga mindset, I think you can imagine. You know, so all kinds of problems we faced, uh, started with problems, things like, oh, this girl can get married fast, so you know, but she'll be hired. Or if the girl is married, she'll get pregnant, but she'll be hired. Um, or, okay, in, in body shop, in paint shop, they cannot do painting, they cannot do welding, but she'll be hired. You know, all kinds of stuff. So, also it was initially uh, difficult to get uh, female employees to get into manufacturing. Uh, so, we did a lot of campaigns in the nearby villages. Uh, we went to, uh, we to uh, Bajajs and we said, why did you come? We told the to come to our factory. So they came to our factory, we showed them what exactly is this place, we showed them to our so ladies and blah, blah, blah. You know, so that's how it started. And then again, a lot, lot of questions on building and all this stuff, because building is a slightly heavy job. So we did blind testing. So what happened, we hired a new guy, 20 year old, a girl, 20 year old, Gave them one piece of training, they did welding, blind testing. Guess what? Girls welding goes better than boys welding. Then they said, they can't go to the girl for seven hours. I said, okay, well, let's specify what kind of, what kind of, you know, the profile you need, weight, height, whatever. It doesn't matter, male or female. Let's specify. So then we did it, and so now in body shop, which is very, very uh, heavy, uh, very oriented, we have almost 30% females there. And obviously, the ergonomics we have done, and we have made sure that it suits the profile. Like with press shops, tire uh, assembly, we didn't have a single female vendor in our, female painter in our country for manual spray. And I'm happy to say that a mother of two became the first painter in our company in the country, and now we are more in five. Then the questions came that obviously we need to have ecosystem, we policies, we tolerance and policy issues. You know, and, uh, and the maternity leave thing, maternity leave. How you handle it during maternity leave. Uh, in real sense, good crash, nanny support scheme, all that stuff, so the whole ecosystem we had to make it. And then we had to have a lot of, lot of uh, you know, a uh, lot of uh, um, support uh, for uh, the male guys to tell them uh, that, like, why is it quiet? And, and, and then they started seeing the results. So, just some obvious results I tell you. Uh, we have direct run rate in manufacturing, which means cars can clear without any defect found in any station. So that dramatically improved. The, the, the girls in general have got, women in general have got good eye for quality. So quality improvement happened. We have integrated us in quality number one by 3 power in most of our cars for three years on a row. You know, 
in, in consumer, consumer satisfaction, satisfaction when they are facing sales and service issues and uh, consumer satisfaction or CRM functions led by women. And, and there we have been dated as number one in service satisfaction three years in a row by consumers data through JD Power. And so, so those kind of things we have seen. So now there is no conversation are complete by women. Now we are saying, okay, why not more? And why? So we, when we got 30%, uh, then we said, hey, let's raise it to 50%. Why 50? Because we said nature is 50 50. When you want some balance in society, then it has to be 50 50. So we are at 37% right now. By the end of this year, we should be 40. It's getting tougher uh, to come to 50. But even 37 probably, I don't know the exact stats, but 30 plus 37 percent is probably the best in the world in manufacturing. You know, so so we are. We are uh, one more insight I want to share, uh, and this is what we are doing. So we are doing a subsection. You know, within a section, as we done with a team of five people, or eight people, and we are saying so there is no uh, female employee in that subsection. And very interestingly, we have found out, uh, you know, uh, psychographics and demographics of our guys that. Maybe the male boss there, uh, you know, his wife is not working, mother didn't work, doesn't have daughters. So he doesn't know how it is to look, look like working with a female employee. You know, and, and they don't know what they don't know. You know, so we are doing special sessions for these kind of people. Like, you know, uh, uh, and again, no disrespect to them, uh, but they just don't know uh, how it is like working with a female employee. If I didn't have my female boss, it's probably I have one. One interesting thing, uh, and anyway, what I want to say, I'll, I'll say my two daisy size, so please don't judge me on that. But I just want to tell you. So I had female bosses, and then you know, my boss, she came. I was supposed to be leadership for at some point time, so she came. And then she was a big boss, and she was, at that point of time, fifth rank global, uh, fifth rank global leader. So she came, and every day, there was an appointment for uh, here. I said, it's not about attention, it's about counter, it's about time, it's about time, it's about time, it's about time, it's about time. Don't judge me, guys, don't judge me, okay? So I said, and then, we were about probably Hillary, uh, and Hillary and Obama, they were, uh, like, they were contesting. So Hillary said, and they happened to stay in the same hotel in one constituency. And Hillary said, here in the morning at 6 a.m., I'm coming from my hairdo, and Obama is coming from the gym, because there's a time to go to the gym, but I have to do my hair. So, you know, then suddenly you start realizing and start empathizing, and then my wife and everyone tells me, hey, listen, that's part of being a woman. And, and I want to want to say that, but it, it's like, my wife doesn't like this example, but it's like the way I shave, maybe they have to do that, right? So, so I think we need to, we need to understand that, empathize that, and this is what actually we talk about in our company. You know, we talk a lot about, even like we need to understand about that. Uh, during the periods what happened, uh, postpartum or you know, boss day. So we talk about that in our company. You know, and uh, we are doing sessions for many of these things. You know, so that's how we are doing it, but now, good news is, we have reached that stage now because we started from basic conversation. You know, so I'm happy uh, the team has invited it. Uh, no longer, nobody asks these questions that this talk cannot be done by a female. You know, we wanted to have an admin uh, person when we started the operations. And I said, this is why a female employee, an admin. Uh, and obviously, the resistance was an admin in the police department. I'm going to go inspect the Raja, go charge it. Like they won't be able to manage this. Let's try. So, when the you know, we introduced her. I said, I'll go to the Raja, the office of the Raja. She is happy. I've done that. I said, my boss is coming from UK at 4 o'clock. Sometimes you have to go and pick him up. What will you do? Is She said, I've done it. He said, Raja, you won't give me this job. Because I'm a female, okay? I'll, I'll give you this job if I'm competent. You know, and she probably was one of the best admin persons I saw you know, in our office. So those kind of experiments have helped us put more pressure, unfortunately, on the initial batch of girls. Because if these experiments are not okay, then further the female employees will not uh, do the second attempt. But luckily, it worked for us, so I'm here. And, and at the end of the day, I would say, which I didn't realize, it becomes a competitive edge. The very fact that I'm standing in front of you talking about MG, our brand MG probably is getting more visible, isn't it? So this is a competitive edge. So that's why we do it. So on that note, I'll stop here and can play a small video. This is an MG house card.
were 33, now we are 37. So can I introduce some of my female colleagues from the plant, from manufacturing, Rutugan and Kanchan, who are here from the plant. One is in manufacturing and another is in quality.